Hey what's up guys, it's me again and welcome back to my channel Meta What Ifs. Today I am back with a new movie, the name of this movie is What If Naruto Was Demigod Son of Hera and Zeus. And yeah guys, it is an unscripted movie and my own idea. Now before continuing this, Naruto is a civilian and is born into our world, I mean the Percy Jackson world. And he is not the Naruto from the shinobi world okay i guess that makes sense since he's a civilian this is kind of an oc naruto story slash movie he's still naruto the one we love and know plus he's kind of a laid back and cool headed i thought it might be fun to make it a comedy movie so yeah here it is i hope you enjoy this one if you do man make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and follow me on my polo chiha channel as well talking about apollo chiha before we continue this story for a short bit i am sincerely sorry I am so so sorry that I forgot to schedule the video for tomorrow. I accidentally scheduled the video for today and that is why the video which was supposed to be uploaded yesterday is now uploaded today. I am so sorry about that. Many of you guys were worried in the comments section like you good bro where is the movie? What happened to you? Nothing happened. It was because of my own mistake. I made this mistake and yeah the story wasn't posted. I already mentioned in the discord channel about this if you haven't joined it then make sure by blessing going through the community tab you'll find the link there I uploaded the link yesterday you can click through it and yeah you can visit there. Sorry again so sorry about that I hope this hap doesn't happen again and yeah I'll be able to continue regularly from now on. And without any further ado let's begin with our today's movie our story begins. In Japan, Kyoto, as they go there to see, inside one of the traditional homes, away from the civilization up in the mountains, was a boy who was reading a book in his school uniform as he sighed for the upteen time. Bachan, how many times do I have to read this stuff again and again? As he threw the book to the side. Listen to me, child. This book is quite valuable and will help you in the future. I don't understand. Reading about the Greek mythology, how will it help me in the future or even in my life? Ah, <sighs> you will understand in due time, Naruto. As now we see, this woman had blonde hair and brownish eyes. And she was none other than Tsunade Senju, who was there, watching over her grandson figure, Naruto Uzumaki. He was son of Kushina Uzumaki and Minato Namikaze, as both of them were related to her, and both of them had married and had Naruto, and that is why she was watching over him. Both of the parents had died, or that is what Kushina had told Naruto. That is why both grandma and the grandson stayed there, away from the civilization, because it was a shrine there that they had resided in. Still, Bajan, I gotta go and meet with Sasuke and Sakura-chan. We are heading to karaoke tonight. <sighs> about that, how about you delay that? Because there are some people who are coming to visit you today, Naruto. What? I did not know we were having guests. We rarely ever have guests, Bajan. Jeez, you're really getting old and snarl if you haven't told me that. You disrespectful brat. When are you gonna stop using that term? Jeez, sorry, Bajan, I was just joking. <laughs> so was I, brat. Just sit still. Both of them will be here in no time. As on cue, there was a knock on the door. Well, that was quite in a hurry. As Nord opened the door, there stood were his dead parents. And that was a shocker. Because for the past 13 years of his life, Naruto has believed that he was an orphan. What What the hell? What is going on? Bajan, th 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 there are ghosts in, in, at our door. What? As Kushin Tsunade arrived there, as Kushina and Minato were smiling down at their son, who was looking confused and scared, as Kushina didn't say anything, just rushed and gave her baby boy a tight hug, as Minato followed suit, rubbing the back of his head. Hey, son, guess who's back from the dead? As Kushin Tsunade bonked him on the head. Seriously? When are you going to stop doing that, brother? <laughs> you know how he is, sister. He is always as such. Quite the dramatic and always in character. <laughs> that is a tendency I used to have. You know that, don't you, Kushi-chan? Call me by my name now, Zeus. Yeah, I guess you're right, hon. So, son, we're here to take you back to, well, Mount Olympus for the time being, and then you'll, from there you'll be sent to Camp of Blood. Wait, what? What the hell is even going on here? 
<laughs> you still haven't told him, have you? Well, I'm trying to force him to read Greek and our history, but he refuses to listen. Now here a frown. Why, Nardo? Wait, what? I don't understand. How in the hell are you two alive? And what the hell is... Greek is related to any of this? Did you... Did you ditch me here or something? No, uh, kind of. What? So I was abandoned? Would you just sit still, son, and let us explain? Said Zeus, calming down Naruto, as he then sighed and said, Listen, the thing is, we were actually Zeus and Hera, Greek gods, the king and queen of gods, and that there who has taken the role of your grandmother is actually our oldest sister, Hestia. Wait, what? As now we see Sonata's eyes, which were brown, turn into bright color of flames as she smiled. Yes, child, as I was telling you. But wait, how how is how does even that even make sense? I don't understand any of this. The thing is that um, we were in our mortal form once we were, you know, visiting and enjoying ourselves because we thought that it what it was fine to enjoy a vacation just for the two of us, you know, kind of like a honeymoon again. So one thing led to another, and we found this little shrine here abandoned. So we thought that how about this place where we stayed close to nature, and this is where we decided to stay. And, yeah, and then we had you. Because we knew that we were in our mortal form. You were technically a demigod, so we can't bring you back to Olympus until you are of a certain age. So, b because of the rules I unfortunately have placed, I would have been hypocrite if I did that, did that to myself and while forcing the others to follow the rule, right? So, we requested Hestia to watch over you here. As Anard looked at them and then slumped down to the ground, passing out. It was too much for his brain to handle, as Hestia sighed. Well, I have lived with the boy. He has the tendency of such. Well, sister, I must say that you have certainly changed from the calm and collected and kind one to quite talkative one. Oh, trust me, this boy was quite energetic. Both of your energies are side within him. He was made out of your union. So that is what it's supposed to be, a normal, happy child who watched over him. I at least did. He's quite beautiful, isn't he, Zeus? Of course he is. How about we take him there now, while he rests? In this way, it will be easy for him to explain. <laughs> You're gonna scare him, aren't you? Well, it will be fun to have a little fun now, wouldn't it? Said Zeus with a smirk on his face. As now we see with the thunder booming, the three of the god, god and goddesses, alongside with Naruto, left. As now we see Naruto, eyes were closed as he heard whispers. Do you think he's dead? Huh. <laughs> My brother. Even though he's a mortal, if dead, I will kill him after going to the fields of Azal. As after that, Naruto eyes opened as he heard bickering. Just to see people in weirdly exotic clothes and weirdly glowing people. What the hell? Why are you glowing like light bulbs? Pfft, light bulbs? Seriously? Light bulbs? Is that what you think of us? Said Apollo, taking almost offense to that. Huh. <laughs> Calm down, son, sport. He's not saying that in a manner. We are glowing with our aura, said a man who was now using a cane to walk. My name is Iphaestus, brother. I am your older brother. Wait, so you're all real? That wasn't a weird dream that my bachan or my bachan pranking me or something. I told you, said a voice that not recognized, but the face he didn't. What happened to your face, bot? And when did you get a pl plastic surgery or something? As in front of everyone, shocking to most of her family, Hestia bonked Naruto on the head. You idiot! I told you that that was a disguise. How many times do you want me to say that to you? Wow, that hurts. Um, wow, said Aphrodite. I didn't know, Hestia, you had it in you to hurt a child. Ah, <sighs> nothing. It's tough love, I guess. I kind of lear learned that thanks to Naruto over here. Since he's quite close to me. Yeah, I I guess, said Athena. So, you are all gods then, said Naruto. Yep. Would you like to take a guess, Hermes said, who god is who? Hmm, yeah, I guess. As he looked towards Hestia and then said, So you're the goddess of earth? Aren't you supposed to be kind? You want another bonk kid? Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. And you're Demeter, right? The goddess of harvest. Hmm. You must eat a lot of cereal, then, if you know me. Ah, uh, okay. Goddess of love because of how bright your smile is? 
Huh, he does know what he's talking about, after all. Artemis. House. It was obvious, said Apollo. Because she is calling at me and I think I have read about that she hates all mankind. <laughs> You're not far off about that. You're in the hit list too, so yeah. Tread carefully, mortal. Sister, stop bothering him. As another goddess narrowed her eyes down at Naruto. What I'm interested in... Why are you not interested in learning about your own heritage? I get it that in Sonata's disguise, Hestia tried to teach you, but you didn't listen. I thought, to be honest, you're nothing more than myths. What's the point of using your names or anything like that in real life? I'm not like I'm gonna go to a job interview and he's gonna just certainly out of the nowhere ask me, Hey, do you know Athena? And I'm gonna be like, yeah, I know Athena. We chilled and have some drinks as well. Yay! As Hestia bonked him on the head. You're too young to drink. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. As Athena's eyebrow twitched at that. Great, another annoying brother. As now we see, Naruto then said, Hey, I'm not annoying. Ah, the response enough is quite inevitable. Why would you, anyone gain knowledge? Because not everyone is like you, Owlhead. Yep, Aries. As everyone nodded, Aries. In response. And then Naruto moved towards the one with the cane. You kind of explained who you were, so Hephaestus got a forge, right? Yes. You got that right, brother. And finally, there was Apollo, who took in the most offense because he said light bulb. And then there was uh, Hermes, with a smile on his face. Jackpot. All right, so what about Poseidon, Ares? I mean, Poseidon and Hades and, um, where are my parents, I guess? Look, if this is a prank, seriously, Bachan, I'm gonna get you back waivers. Hm, I like to see you try. As that is when we see the big three walked in with their queens. Persephone by Hades' side, Ambrose by Poseidon, and Hera by Zeus. As Hera then arrived and smothered Naruto into a tight hug. Kazan can't breathe. Oh, so sorry about that. <laughs> I just missed you, my baby boy. <laughs> Stop being a making him a wuss, mother. Let me train with him. Yeah, I'm okay. You're the war god. You can literally squish me and all that. I'm good with this. As Naruto then said. Okay, so, um, yeah, nice meeting you. But why did you out of a sudden arrive now? Said Naruto, quite confused. You're taking it way this way well. I learned from Bachan that you gotta be laid back in most of the stuff like she was. Ah, <sighs> Sonata's tendencies, I guess. A persona I made up thanks to Zeus. As now we see, Zeus then said, oh, As I told you, there were some laws that I imposed. Yeah, you did. Sure as hell did. And you were the only one to break the rules. No fear, Dad. We all at least get one chance to visit our children. Fine. But only one. As now we see, Naruto began to witness that how dysfunctional this family was as they were bickering with one another. While Hera then said, How about we go and talk th over there, son? Uh, okay. As Naruto arrived to the other side, we see that Hera then said, You must hate me, right? W what? Said Naruto, getting serious with wide eyes. What do you mean by that? <sighs> I left you there, Naruto. For 13 years, I... I could have sent you a letter or anything. But I didn't. Look. At least... You're here, right? No. I'm not gonna say I'm not mad or anything, it's just... <sighs> it's quite weird and surreal that you're gods and... What am I even? A demi... demigod or something? <laughs> yes. Because we were both in mortal aspect, only half of our godly power was combined into you. We're still half mortal, still half god. And... Once... We reach a certain age, Zeus and I have thought this through, we will give you immortality, so you can stay with us. Okay. And besides, I wish to have Kushina's grandbabies as well, my human counterpart that I created. Why? Because she is bubbly and full of life. She always was happy, and Zeus enjoyed her. Or Minato, you can say, enjoyed her company more than ever. Even now, Zeus and everyone else are amused because of your reactions. Even if you bicker, even if they show disdain or hate for a little bit, they are hiding this behind a facade and fake it, not showing their real feelings. They haven't been this entertained and enjoying themselves or their lives here. Because you see, Naruto, immortality is a curse. 
curse and a blessing at the same time. Okay, that's kind of deep. <laughs> of course it is. I'm just surprised that you're so laid back. Something I learned from Bachan over there. You can stop calling me that now. Nah, never would and never will. Ah, thanks, brother, sister, said Hestia, as she then transformed into Sinade and grabbed a drink to ease her pain. Wow, Hestia changed quite a lot in Sinade form, said Apollo. Yep, that is tend to what happened because Zeus decided it would be best to act up and cover because how their sister was kind. Said Athena, as she sighed, why would her father even do this? As now we see, Naruto and his mother was talking as his father arrived. Son, as much as I want you to stay here, for the time being you have to go to the camp of blood. It's in America, but I don't even understand how to speak that language. How are you even understanding Japanese? Because from what I remember, you aren't you supposed to be speaking in Greek? <laughs> because we visited every country, Naruto. Thanks to Athena, we also have learned a lot of languages. And you, my boy, are blessed with also the same learning. Because once you arrive there, you'll naturally be able to speak languages. Oh, and by the way, you have to go to Yancey Academy there. Because the trainer of heroes, Chiron, is there. And he will train you and guide you back. Okay. As Naruto gave them a hug, it's nice meeting you too. Hey, Bajan, what? As Naruto dashed towards her and gave her a hug. Thank you. Thank you for everything. As Hestia smiled and gave Naruto a hug. I'm gonna miss you, you brat. Of course, I'll miss my old Bachan as well. <laughs> but hey, we can visit and talk whenever you want, right? Of course we can. Yeah, then I guess you'll have to listen to my ad awesome adventures one more time. I just wish that I could have said goodbye to my friends. You can visit them. By using the mist, we have informed that you have went to America, and though in their memories you are here because you have been transferred here, thanks to Sonata's job. But Bod John didn't even have any job. Ah, <sighs> see, a lot of headaches here, Zeus. You handle this. As much as I miss, I'm gonna miss you, Brad. I'm certainly gonna enjoy not being able to tell you each and every step again and again and again. And I thought we were having a moment here," said Naruto with a pout, as everyone else chuckled at that. And so. Naruto, with the help of his father and mother, then arrived at the NC Academy, where, inside Chiron's office, he stood up from his wheelchair as the mist disappeared to show the centaur who bought my leech. Why the sudden visit? My demigod son, along uh, mine and Hera's demigod son, is now under your wing, and it is up to you to take him to the camp of blood for the time being, staying there, until we can make certain preparations for him to arrive at Mount Olympus. I, I see, said Chiron, as he was wide and looking at Naruto, who waved at him. As after his parents left, Naruto then said, Wow, so you're like the heroes from the legend who trained the heroes, right? Yes. I guess if you say it like that, then yes, I am. Cool. Then how does your body work? Uh, what? I mean, you being a centaur and a man, how does, you know, sleeping works? Huh. Oh boy. You remind me of someone. I know you're gonna be quite a good company. Now listen here, Naruto-san. Wow, so you do know the terms. Yes, I do know. Now listen here, Naruto-san. As I was about to say, you're going to be in a class with a student who is also under the care. He will be returning for the second time into the camp and it, while it will be your first. His name is Percy Jackson and he will take care of you. He's the son of demigod son of Poseidon. Wow, seriously? Yes. As now we see, Naruto met with Percy thanks to Chiron and then they became fast friends. As soon as the term ended, which Naruto was quite shocked that nobody asked him why he was even there out of nowhere, out of a blue. Except for Percy who knew that Naruto, thanks to Chiron, was a demigod like him. As soon as he arrived with Percy Jackson to the facility, the camp, we see that Naruto was claimed by both of his parents immediately, which caused a lot of dryads and satyrs to pass out. A demigod son of Hera and Zeus both together, they didn't make him a god. And Chiron explained that since both of them were in a mortal form, it had only affected a little to Naruto, making him a demigod. As now we see, Naruto life began there, and sooner or later Naruto began to make friends as well, and about Chase 
as well as Lacey and many others were quick friends with Naruto. Even the son of Hades, Nico D'Angelo, who was also there, became quick friends with Naruto as well. Until the hunters arrive, as Naruto was now preparing for capture the flag game. Alright, so what are the rules again? Yeah, survive hunters as best as you can and make sure you don't hurt them because Lady Artemis gets tends to get quite antsy when that happens. Okay. Not like you're gonna hurt them, said Annabeth. Jeez, Annabeth, thanks for the vote of confidence, said Naruto. <laughs> I'm telling the truth, remember? You're son of Athena, not Apollo. Yeah, said Annabeth with a shiver. Good point. Because Naruto sometimes made a lot of sense. As now we see, Naruto was given a small sword and a shield. Seriously, I look like an idiot. <laughs> Come on, we all are wearing an armor. You should be proud of wearing the proud of wearing a broom brush over my head. Seriously? Jeez. Just just get in line, okay? As now we see, the siren was held as the battle began. Naruto was targeted by some of the hunters, but Naruto deflected them and went for the flag as planned. Most of the prankers, campers wanted to prank him because this was his first time. So yeah, he will get to face Zoe. Zoe Nightshade. As now we see, while Zoe was taking an aim, her feet slipped. As Naruto was throwing down his sword and shield, then dashed and grabbed her. As his knee was hurt in the process. Ah, damn it. Are you okay, miss? And as Zoe looked at him with quiet shock and amazement before getting back to her senses. Thank you so much for your help, kind one. But... Why would you save me and not capture the flag? As the siren was then blown again, indicating that the flag from the other side were captured. Uh-oh. I guess I'm in trouble. Yeah, don't worry about it, okay? Anyone would have done that, said Naruto with a flashing a toothy grin, which looked and resembled like a fox, before turning and grabbing his knee and skipping a leg went towards where he came from. Without even looking at her as she stood there, White and shock as Phoebe arrived there alongside the others. Who was that man? He wasn't a man. He was a kid. A younger one. And he has this pure energy around him. I can sense thanks to my lady. Yes, that is true. Said another voice as a girl similar to their age with a burnt hair and silver eyes arrived with a raised eyebrow. That child is something special entirely because most ch children of father and... Lady Hera would turn out to be like Hephaestus or like um, Ares. But who would have believed that he, out of all two of them, would be the one who turn out like this? As we see Naruto once arrived back, he was healed with nectar. As he was resting, we see by the hurt side, he saw someone. Someone staring at him with a smile on, his, on, on her face. Bachan, said Naruto as he dashed towards her before he tripped and fell face first into the ground as his Bachan laughed at that. Get up, Naruto. And with a swipe of her fingers, we see that Naruto was clean. Cool. You could have done that, you know. Many times you witnessed this, but you didn't help. <laughs> of course. Why would I? It's enjoyment to see you like this, little one. Jeez, you enjoy my suffering, you old hag. As Naruto was bonked on the head. As that is when we see both of them then settle down. As Hestia then begin to sit Naruto down and feed him because she always enjoyed when Naruto ate. If anything was a tradition in their home, it was when Naruto was eating and talking. Hestia or Tsunade now would sit down and just listen while also enjoying her tea. And this was a tradition she didn't want it to give up and that is why whenever she could, she would visit Naruto. Because she has grown attached to the boy way too much than any other. In a maternal manner. As after the dinner was completed, we see Naruto was heading back. Back to his father's, well, cottage where he was going to stay. But he was stopped as he felt that someone was following him. As soon as Naruto entered inside, he found that there was someone sitting there. Um, uh, hello? Is that, is there someone in there? Yes, it is. As Naruto flinched, ghost? No, Naruto. <laughs> as now we see, it was Artemis, same height, same age as Naruto. As Naruto face twisted into that of a confusion, Artemis? Is that is that you? Yes. Wow. I did not knew you could do that. Do what exactly? Said Artemis with narrowed eyes. I mean, change your age. Wait. That means you can, you can be at any age, right? Wow. 
Must have been weird when you turn into a baby or into an old hag, right? As some of the hunters who were watching this from afar were quite confused at this boy. He wasn't afraid, he wasn't scared, or he wasn't trying anything. If anything, he was quite surprised and curious about the power. As Artemis then began to chuckle and then blown out laughter. <laughs> you amaze me, Naruto Sumaki. You certainly do. Of all the things you could have asked, you asked me the most weirdest and stupidest question. Hey, it's not stupid. It's just it's just an awesome power. I mean, be at any age, as much as you want. Yes, I enjoy tend to being in this age because these are the age when most of the maidens turn astray. Astray? Fall in love. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Sorry about that. Hmm, have anyone caught your eye? I wish to know. What? Hey, what are you? A pervert? As that is when he heard a lot of arrows rustling. As now I see Artemis holding her hand up as an eyebrow twitched. As Naruto was now on the corner. What the hell? Why are you all here? I thought you were the only one here. As that is when Zoidan said, Your instincts is that of an ant. How can you survive in a battle? <laughs> they say that I'm blessed with a goddess of luck. Or something like that, I hope. Said Naruto as he deflated. <sighs> Anyways, I won't take offense to that, but know this, I do tend to take very, very cruel measures if you say that again. Oh, okay. Then why are you here spying on me then? Hmm, my hunters have something to say, especially Zoe over here. Oh, you could have just said so outside, why not there? Oh boy, you can handle this now, Zoe. We'll all be waiting outside. Knowing him, he won't try anything. Uh, okay, my lady. I wish to thank you. Thank you for saving me from falling. That rarely ever happens in all my life. It rarely ever did. But none, as shall, none aside from my lady has given me a hand of help without anything in return. Except for you today. So I ask you, ask what you wish to for me. I will try my best it within my power to give it to you. Alright then, what? You can leave and be, like, leave me in my peace. What? Yeah, I, w I wish to sleep. <sighs> that is not what I'm saying. I'm asking if you need my favor or anything. I'm giving you an option to do anything. And this is what you're saying? Yeah, I need to sleep. You can leave. You don't need to owe me anything. What do you think I am, huh? I'm someone low to you? Below you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. When did I say that? I'm just saying that you need to leave so I can sleep. Why is it so hard for you to understand? Jeez. As Naruto opened the door and pointed towards her to leave, please. You don't need to owe me anything. Anyone would have done that. As after that, Zoe then stomped out with a frown on her, itched on her face. As after Naruto slammed the door shut, we see his mother was standing there with a frown on her face. Naruto, that was no way to speaking to a lady. Kajan? What are you doing here? I'm visiting my son because it is night time. I wish to spend some time with him. But does father know about this? Yes, son, I'm here as well. Wait, what? You quite had quite a match today, you know? And we were quite proud of you, what you did. Even though you lost the match, you, we are proud of how you acted. Acted? But isn't something we were supposed to do in that sense? As... The glass fell from Zeus' hand as Hira chuckled and gave her boy a hug and a kiss on the forehead. My dear boy, why don't you rest here? As after that we see, Zeus, who was in still shock while Naruto slept, left with his wife to Mount Olympus. Sister, said Zeus with a terrified expression, looking towards his older sister, Hestia. What, brother? What, what did you do to my boy? Why doesn't he, why doesn't he know about anything about a girl or something like that? Oh, you mean sex education? No, I didn't give that to Naruto. Because I'm a virgin myself, brother. And not only that, he was living in Japan with me. And there, equality is quite normal. And you know what? He has always seen his girl girlfriends as his boyfriends are there. Meaning, all equal. So he's like that. Naruto is just Naruto. That is quite confusing, but yeah, I guess Naruto is Naruto. Sister is right, said Hera. Oh my god. One one of my son is just way too much obsessed with his work. One is obsessed with war, and the other one doesn't even know what to do with his life. 
As Poseidon and the others who heard this was laughing as they were walking towards them. Oh, I can't believe this. Hades would have a blast after finding out about this. You will not do such a thing, Poseidon. <laughs> yes, I would, brother. You cannot contain the truth, after all. As Apollo and Hermes, who were there as well, were look ter looking shocked and terrified. Oh my god. Poor soul. He doesn't know anything. As now we see Hephaestus was then with them, walking, and thus, then he said, it's not all that bad. I mean, the kid is fine as he is. The kid has an admirer, said Aphrodite, Hephaestus. And he doesn't even know about them because he doesn't recognize their feeling. And that, to be honest, kind of pisses me off. As Athena then said, Hmm, that is quite intriguing, that how someone can be so dense. Huh. And I was about to take offense to that. Well, good on him. If he's like that, then he's okay in my book, said Artemis. Of course he would be, said Apollo. You, vir you virgin, said Aphrodite, finishing the sentence. Hey, I was not going to say that as Apollo was punched by Artemis and Andrew was shot towards Aphrodite. Enough, said Zeus as his voice boomed. Enough of this. We will not discuss about this. Why are you all even here? Well, we f wanted to find out why you visited your son, both of you. It's my first demigod, so I have to. No, no privileges to even you, Queen Hera, said Aphrodite. As now we see, Zeus then said, fine, we all can visit. And the next day, everyone was visiting their children. As now we see, Percy was, was with Poseidon, Aphrodite was with her daughters and son, and same could be said for the everyone else. As Ares was training with his children, while Aphaestus was in the forge, while Narta was sitting there with his mother and father and and slash grandmother figure. Ah, it is quite peaceful, right? It is, Narta, but... There is a, there is a task for you, a quest. A quest? What is it? You are to, um, you are to go to the underworld to, to make sure that the crooked one is there and secured. What? I talked to the fates and this is the task they have given. If you are successful in this, then you will be granted immortality. So you can be with us on Olympus, son. Uh, okay, I guess. So you'll accept this task? You don't have to, Naruto. We'll find another way, said Hera. No, Kajan. If this is what it takes to be with my family and prove to everyone else that I can hold on my own, then so be it. Son, there is another thing. Then I was told and instructed to reveal this to you after you taken the quest. What? You are to do that alone, all by yourself. As Naruto gulped and said, oh. Oh well, nice knowing you. I guess if I return then we'll have a feast. And if I don't, then so you shall have a feast again. Dude, that is so weird. And why would you not return? Dude, I'm going to the underworld. What part of you don't, you that don't understand? Yeah. Look, Naruto. You'll be safe, said Percy. If you need any help, call for me, okay? Yeah. But I'll have to handle this on my own. And so now we see Naruto left on that quest as Hera and Zeus was the most who were worried, while the others were not so as much. As Naruto was leaving, we see he looked towards the hunters who were there as well. As the hunters bowed, as Naruto then said, Wait, what? Why are you giving me that king treatment now? You're not king, Naruto, but we are giving you some respect, said Zoe. Jeez, you could have said that good luck or anything. Why are you so old-fashioned? As an arrow was shot towards him, as Naruto gave them the tongue before running away. You all are poopy deer hats, said Naruto, as he ran away. Did he just call us poopy deer heads? As now we see Artemis taking charge, was now chasing after Naruto. As arrows were flying behind him, as Naruto was screaming and running away, yelling apologies. Well, Zeus and everyone else laughed at their son's antics, because... This was just Naruto, but most of them, one person wasn't there, and that was Hestia, who has left after this was being talked by the parents, as she was sad and knew what was about to come, and she didn't want it to lose Naruto, so much so that she prayed, she being a goddess prayed for the first time to Chaos, please Chaos, watch over Naruto, my Naruto, please be safe from every harm. And so, treading the path carefully, he found a way to the underworld. And after arriving there, he prayed to Hades and Persephone to not 
to not give him problems because he didn't want it any. He was just gonna be there on his own way after doing his mission and return back. But as usual, trouble found him because right now, a huge dog saliva was covering his body as now he was being held by the mouth of a huge dog that was breathing on him hard as his saliva was falling on his body. As he was presented in front of the interval throne room, where both Hades and Persephone with a smile were watching him, alongside their daughter, Melanie, who was having watching Naruto with a sinister smile of her own. Hey, cousin, uncle, aunt, said Naruto. Hm, you really are quite weird, Naruto Uzumaki. I thought that you were weird when the day we met you, but now, now that we have heard so much about you and the uh, things you have done, we were quite curious. So my brother has sent you here because of his paranoia. Pa paranoia? Huh, you don't know about Zeus and his legendary paranoia. To be honest, I don't know anything about any of you to that point yet. Is that so? said Persephone. Then why did you pray like, please don't give me trouble because I swear I'll just be here like a ghost, in and out. You wouldn't even notice. What kind of prayer even is that? It sounded so rude. Hey, I was just trying my best to make my intentions clear. Okay, sue me I'm not that good with the birds, said Naruto, folding his arms with a pout while the Cerberus was just still. Wagging his tail while Naruto was covering saliva. And please, can can you ask this three-headed dog to put me down, please? Cerberus likes you a lot. Good thing you should you are still alive. Otherwise, he would have killed you. He likes you a lot to bring you here to us. Now put him down, now Cerberus. As soon as Naruto was put down, he was given a huge lick by each and every head. As now we see Naruto's ha hair from behind was standing straight still, and his clothes were covered in extreme amount of saliva. I might need to take a bath. <laughs> no. You're gonna go on, on this quest like this. What? You see, saliva from Cerberus is quite potent, and it will help you go to the deeper pits, because you're a demigod. Unlike us, you will burn to ashes there, where the Crooked One and his allies are. Oh, okay. As now we see, Naruto, treading carefully, finally found a way downstairs, and once arriving there, he was now in front of a huge prison where fire was and lava was present. Um, hello? Anybody home? Who goes there? said a booming voice. You, Dude, you seriously need to brush your teeth or something. It stinks! You dare mock me, mortal? Who even are you, dude? I am Kronos, the titan of time. Yelled out a voice. Oh, uh... Geez, um, s sorry, great granddad. Great granddad? What kind of insolence is this? Geez, way to be a uh, old snout. I mean, I have seen in my fair share of days how old crooked people are, but you? Oh, take the cake. You are treading on a thin line, mortal. As now we see, Hades and Persephone was enjoying this because their father was getting roasted, as well as being poked by Naruto. As in the end, he tortured. He was tortured by Naruto in the best way, so much so that, in the end, he requested, Get out of here! I swear on River Sadix that I won't escape. Yeah, we don't wish to. Because if there are more like you there, then yeah, we're done for. We don't want that. As Naruto then said, You're, you're all just rude and sorry because you're trapped here and, not, and you can't talk to me and give me answers that I ask. Hmm. Says the kid who's just puny brat and can't do anything about it now, can he? We're just gonna tell you to leave, that's it. Leave us alone. We don't want anything to do with you anymore. Or any of the Olympus. As Naruto was leaving, we see that a woman was standing there that resembled his bachan, but the only difference being that her hair instead of blonde was deep brown and her eyes were green. Wow, doppelganger of bachan. My name is Giaia. Wait, what? You're you're like the great 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 grandmother. Geez, my head is hurting now. As Gaia's eyebrow twitched alongside with her lip. Hm. You're quite funny, Naruto Samaki. Very, very funny. I'll be watching over you closely. And since you have bothered my son a lot, I was here to give you a beating if you didn't leave. But since you are cautious enough to understand the signs and leave before I gave you a spanking. 
Oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I didn't mean to anger you. I was sleeping and because of his whining, I woke up. Do, were you sleeping, resting your beauty sleep or something? That was disturbed? I, I'm sorry about that if it is. Hmm. You really are funny in something, aren't you? Fine. I'll allow you to leave, but know this. I'm still against Olympus for what they have done to my children, but I won't bother them. Just because you are here to entertain me. As Naruto was returning, we see that Hades, as well as Persephone, was there waiting for him. A little bit worried, but at the same time had a huge smile on their face. That's why they, for the first time I enjoyed my life. I even recorded this. Just to keep it keepsake, said Hades. Wait, what? You were sent here not to check, son, upon them, but by your father to make sure you are used as a mean of torture for our dear father who was trying to escape and start a war. It was his punishment for trying to break free using a demigod. What? said Naruto. You've done us great service, made him give up on his own because of you being constant annoying. Oh. Well, yeah, glad to help, I guess, said Naruto, with a frown and pout on his face. As now we see, Hades gave him a little bit of gold and a little bit of money for his appreciative work. As he was leaving, Cerberus chased after him. As Hades had a cam, you're sure enjoying this, husband. Of course I am. To get back at, back at Zeus and here at both at the same time? Yeah, I tend to enjoy this. But that child is pure comedy. Comedy gold when we have him here. So, why waste any of it moments? As Naruto said, please, stand down, no more licky licks. No! As another licking sound was heard because Naruto was then screaming. As after that, we see Naruto arrived at the surface. He was covered in saliva left and right. And he was shivering. Never again. Never again. As he looked towards the sky and said, Curse you, Dad. Because of you, I am traumatized. As up on the Mount Olympus, everyone knew what has happened. And Hermes and Apollo were trying to hold on to their throne room. Ares has pissed his pants because of laughing too much. Hephaestus was muffling his laughter while Zeus and Hera were just smiling while at the same time looking quite embarrassed at their son and his way of completing the quest. The most they all enjoyed was the way he punished the crooked one by torturing his mind, his poor marble-sized mind, to the point of oblivion where he swore on River Sadix that he won't try to invade and leave the Olympus alone. As Athena was quite shocked and scratching her head, how in the hell is this individual even working? I mean, he was able to annoy the hell out of the crooked one to the point that he swore on River Sadix that he won't try to bother us or hurt us. Yeah, that in itself is quite scary at the same time quite, quite wonderful, said Aphrodite. Because she was the one using the charm speak, but turns out Naruto had annoying speak or something. As... Apollo then said, Oh, this was comedy gold. I need to make a movie, movie out of this. As he wiped away his teardrop from his eye. As now we see, turning towards the others, he then said, So, I guess he passed? Yep. And the poor boy is traumatized because of all the saliva that is covered by him. Most of all, who was happy that he was safe was his parents and most of them, even them, was Hestia, who raised the damn boy as her own. As she was happy and smiling, as her power was pulsing left and right because of the smile and warmness. Sister, are you okay? Oh, yes, I'm fine. Happy that he's safe. As Hera then arrived and gave her sister a hug. Thank you. Thank you for raising, with, raising him. I knew it was a hard task for you, but we only could trust you there. Knowing that the lives of the demigods have been a cruel one, you were the only one I could trust, sister. And I accepted, didn't I? Plus, the boy has grown on me. Me and Tsunade both. We would, have, we would have been devastated if anything happened to him. As now we see, Naruto returned. Returned ba back. But instead of going for the celebration, he took a deep wash and then went straight to bed. After saying that, Dear Dad, Mom, for the love of God above, stop sending me on these missions. I need to rest now. I'm done. As laughter broke out even after that because now we know Naruto was really traumatized. Jeez, we really did kind of prank him hard, huh? Hmm, the boy deserved it. After pranking me and all that. 
As now we see, Naruto was resting. There was a knock on the door. As Naruto, in tired sleepness, opened the door, it was Zoe Nightshade. What? I, I thought you might have left. We returned. It has been a few months since you left. What? Said Naruto. Are you pulling my leg or something? No, you're standing here, aren't you? Ah. Jeez, I, to I, I forgot how you were old and all that. Come inside. As Naruto now went to his bed and rolled himself in the form of a burrito using his burrito blanket. Why are you wearing that thing? Isn't it edible? It's a blanket in that form. Okay. As after Naruto settled down, many of the hunters restrained their laughter because this boy was really something. He didn't care who he was in front of. He just liked to be himself. We wish to ask you something. Our lady is busy with the council, so she has to ask me to this. Did you find Orion there? Oreo? No, Orion. Yeah, I had packs of Oreos. If you want to, we can go to Superstore to buy it. No! Orion the Hunter. The only male to get praise from Artemis in the past. Huh. Said Naruto picking his nose. Nope, never f heard of him. Sure as hell, never seen him. Hmm. He's not there then. Something is up. He should be there. Why? You said that he was able to... The stories are a lie. That is all I can say. Jeez. Alright, fine. You can see yourself out, right? Bye, and good night. As Naruto then went to bed, as he was with the others about to leave, we see that. She turned. Wait, I have something to say to you. As Naruto was snoring already. As Zoe twitched her eyebrow and literally stomped her feet before yelling something in ancient Greek before leaving. As Phoebe, who was walking behind her, then said, Calm down, Zoe. You don't need to. I don't need to? That, that boy pisses me off to no end. But he didn't do anything bad. Yes, he didn't. And yet in the end, he turns out somehow always gets on my nerve. Calm down, both of you, said Artemis as she arrived there. Lady Artemis. Hm. I get it that my brother, half-brother, can be annoying. But he is way much better than Apollo. Think about that. He doesn't know anything about love and all that. Even Aphrodite confirmed that. So he sees you as equals. That is why he's saying this to you in such a manner. I... I see. As many of the hunters were shocked that someone of such kind would exist into today's world. As after that we see, Naruto next day was brought into the council in the same burrito because Hermes thought it was a perfect prank. As Naruto, who was in his PJs, rolled up like a burrito while his face was poking out, sleep was sleeping there with a drool. As he was twitching, no, don't lick me there, Cerberus. Oh my god, I'm gonna stink. Curse you, dad. As everyone was muffling their laughters because they knew what he was talking about. As Hera was worried because her son was having PTSD attacks now. And so Naruto got up. Wait, what? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? Wh where am I? Wow, this is a weird dream. Whoa, 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 calm down there, bud, said Apollo. No no need to ask so many questions all at the one go, right? Y yes, sorry about that. What is going on here? Why am I even here? You forgot about the quest? D don't need to remind me. Oh, sorry about that, said Hermes. But he wasn't sorry because he was enjoying every moment of it. We saw how you <clears throat> persuade our father, said Zeus, clearing his sword and hiding his laughter, into agreeing to not attack to us. And because of that, we have given you a reward of immortality, Naruto. Okay. Is that your reaction? Seriously? Okay, said Poseidon. No. Thank you and all that? Yeah, th thank you. Thank you so much. For sending me to that monster Cerberus, he was just licking me everywhere. As now we see his brothers were now rolling on the ground again. As Apollo played the video of Naruto running away with tears while praying to every god in Pantheon to save him from this monster. While who, the puppy with the adoration, was chasing after Naruto like he was in a new toy. As his own parents couldn't hold it in. See? You all are laughing and enjoying my misery. They're just too much fun to not do, Naruto. Even Athena and Ar Artemis were enjoying this. As Naruto was looking at everyone with a shocked filled expression. As then he was on the ground, rolling, rubbing his finger on the ground. As now we see Hestia arrived there and gave Naruto a hug. Now, now, enough of you. Stop teasing a brother. As Naruto looked up at her, at her with tearful that Bajan, can we go back to Japan? These people are cruel. As now we see Hestia chuckled. Even you are cruel. You are laughing. No, son. I'm not. Calm down now. As now we see, 
she picked up Naruto with ease, who, who was quite embarrassed. Oh, hey, you don't need to, as suddenly Naruto found himself to be a kid. Hey, I'm a kid again! As now Naruto looked quite adorable, because his cheeks were chubby like a fox as well, as his blue eyes were much more deeper and blue, and his hair was blonde. You're blessed with immortality, Naruto. And the cool power of turning and reversing your age. With it, though, your mind will also reverse. Once you wish to grow up, you will be able to grow up to your current age, where you will age progressively, but stop at 25. But you can also revert back to your younger years. And I would want you to be in this age, because you are the most adorable. If you say so, said Naruto, and he hugged his botch and closely. And now, Hera was now there, standing next to her sister, with quite an envious look. You can hold him, sister. And so Hera did. And after holding on to her son, Naruto snuggled closer and now was sound asleep. Hmm, he's quite a heavy sleeper, right? Yeah. Maybe we should bless him with a domain then. Make him a god. He's already an immortal. With what? He enjoys sleeping and comedy. So both of them will be given to him. Quite befitting. Alright. So I guess these are for him then. Naruto Uzumaki, god of dreams as well as sleep and nightmares and of comedy and happiness and joy. As a new throne was made on which Naruto would stay now and a temple was made as well and a cabin was made on which a fox was created, fox being Naruto's spirit animal like everyone else had their own. As once Naruto woke up, he found himself that he was now sleeping inside his own temple where mother, his mother was by his side. Well, look who's awake. Naruto-chan, how about you have, how about we have some dinner? Okay, said Naruto with a smile on his face as Zeus was happy that his son was given this ability because it wasn't a mistake certainly because Naruto was enjoying every moment of it. But more than ever, his sisters, especially Athena and Artemis, were the ones who were enjoying this because they now had someone to dot over, a little brother who wouldn't annoy them and would do anything to make them happy. As Naruto returned to meet his friends there, he made a mistake by sneezing and turning into that form. And once he did, all hell broke loose as now we see another scenario from his PTSD erupting as he was being dashed and chased by a lot of the dryads and a lot of the demigoddesses. As Naruto bumped into someone who was returning. Ow! S -s Sorry about that. Why is this child running away? E hey, Zoe, it's me, Naruto. N Naruto? Naruto, Sama, I heard you became a god. Hey, drop the Sama and all that. You're older than me. As another eyebrow twitched in Zoe's hand. As she pinched his cheek. Now, now. Even if I am older, you need to respect me and you can't say that to anyone. Now can you? As Phoebe and the others also arrived and surrounded Nard. Wait, what the hell is going on? Hmm, what does it look like? Your cheeks are quite soft, and we love to pinch them. So, stand still, as Naruto began to dash anyway, and then he remembered. Wait, I'm a god! As he then said, turning towards them, stand down! But it didn't work. Oh shit, it didn't work! Said Naruto as he turned on his heel and dashed again, and then he remembered he could fly, and so he tried to fly, but a dryad grabbed him, and he was captured. Poor soul was grabbed and passed around for eight hours until his mother arrived and took him away, as Naruto was shaking again because of the trauma that he's endured because of the fangirlishness. And overnight he has gained a lot of followers as well, while Apollo and Hermes were recording each and every moment of this. Alongside with the spies of Hades, a skeleton who arrived and presented this video to his, his master, who was having a blast, blast of a lifetime, watching this. And someone else was as well. And that someone being none other than Gyaya herself. This grandson, great-grandson of hers, was quite special, and he was quite nice as well. And maybe the closest she has gotten attached to someone from her own family, even from her children. It was Naruto was kind to everyone. As now we see Naruto today was visiting the Roman camp, where he also met with the counterparts of his own family which were Roman. The only difference was that they were quite strict but once Naruto turned into the, his younger age which they ordered him to do so because he was the youngest one. Let's just say that all scenario played out again but this time with the gods and their family.
And now we see Naruto begging and requesting Kios to take this power away, but the fates arrived. We can't take the power away, child. You're too adorable to do that. It's the order of Chaos. Wait, what? what? What do you mean by that? Fates? Hmm. Said fates with a smirk on their face. You are the child of peace, Naruto. A peaceful era has begun. As everyone was listening to this. As they were happy. And I finally had a smile on their face. And because of you. And you being here. We can won't take it back. Because Kiyosama is enjoying this peace. And for the first time. Our lord is enjoying something. And we won't take it away. Even if you request or beg it. Oh, come on. But we will give you one thing. And that is. Soy Nightshade. What? Wait, what? I, I didn't ask for that. As Artemis, then I's nerd. What do you mean by that, Naruto? What do they mean by that? Calm down now, said Hera. Naruto? I, I don't know. Soy Nightshade has begun to have feelings for you. And because of that, we are freeing her from her promise. She can remain a hunter, Artemis. But she will be the one married to Naruto. Kiyosama has ordered this. I, I see. As she narrowed her eyes at Naruto. Look, I, I swear I don't know anything about this. You don't, huh? I swear. Swear on River Sadix. As the thunder boomed, then nothing happened to Naruto. See? Hmm. That doesn't mean I have to like it. I'm going. As she arrived back at the camp where Zoe and the others were waiting. And after separating Zoe, she asked this. To be honest, I'm not gonna lie. My goddess. The few interactions we have, he always have left an impression on me. But I don't think that I have. Such strong feeling towards him, of such as you speak. Naruto, come here this instant. I know you're re hearing any every of this. As a sudden red gushed towards Zoe's face, as Naruto arrived there. Um, s sorry about that. I I didn't mean to cause any trouble. As Naruto was on the ground begging, in a kneeling position, and for the first time, every hunter was quite shocked alongside the camper. Naruto, being a god, even though he was amongst them, was kneeling and begging in front of a hunter, a demigod is equivalent. Who? He has gotten in trouble. I don't know why why, why Kiyosama would want this, any of this. I was just requesting to take my age-turning powers away as Naruto turned her to show that he was now grown up. An adult that even caused Artemis to blush. And even though she wouldn't admit it, he was kind of hot as Naruto turned back to his kid age. Oh no, tr snap, I turned into that age again. And so, now we see hearts glowing in Zoe's eyes as she gave Naruto a hug. I must admit, you are adorable in this form. Oh, brother. As after that we see, Naruto was back at Mount Olympus. As everyone was looking at him with a proud smile. We're proud of you, son. Yes, I guess I can accept that. Her being my daughter-in-law. And everything. But another war was about to erupt because Melody, the daughter of Hades, had also fallen in love with Naruto. Unbeknownst to him. What is going on? said Naruto, as he was curling his knees on, on the chair while Melanie arrived, requesting and demanding that she and Zoe have a spar for Naruto's love and position. As that is when the fates arrived. Our lord has deemed it necessary, then, since it will be more entertaining, that he will be allowed to marry three goddesses. He has found out that Artemis, as well as Zoe, alongside with none other than Melanie, will be allowed to marry him. And only these three, because these three have the purest form of feelings, aside from their domains for him. As Naruto passed out after that, as Apollo and everyone else laughed, Wow, uh, seriously, I can be an uncle now! Yes, finally! Take that, Artemis! Hey, I'm here, you know, said Artemis as she had a golden hue blush on her face. Seriously, sister, and I would have thought that you would be able to remain to your oath. No, I wouldn't mind that," said Hestia, looking towards Athena. "Why wouldn't Why wouldn't you? Because she was a minor goddess at the moment, a young one who didn't know why she was taking an oath for. Just hitting on the other half of the race that we created, and for that reason, I think it is kind of a karma getting back at her that she has fallen in love with Naruto. As Artemis didn't want to admit it, but she spoke to her heart within, and both her and Diana who was her counterpart, spoke that she indeed has fallen in love with Naruto. His adorableness, goofiness, and his to-the-point straightforward personality has caught into her and grabbed her heart. And so now we see Naruto with an embarrassed golden hue, married with Artemis, Zoe, alongside with Melanie. 
And a few years passed by as our union was being held at camp as Naruto arrived there. And he was wearing a baby bag back and front holding on to two babies with a burnt hair and silver eyes. Many, two daughters of his and Artemis. While his baby boy with black hair and black eyes resembling his mother with pale skin was five years old. And on the other side it was Zoe's child who was also a boy. As he then said, Father, when are we going to meet the hunters? <laughs> you will meet them soon, son. I doubt that your mother, mothers will be here at the moment. What makes you think that, husband? Said Artemis, along following her were both Melanie and Zoe, as she had smirk, uh, they had smirk on their faces. What makes you think that we wouldn't be here, Naruto? Yes, we wish to know. Uh, because you were busy? Yes, you were supposed to be busy as well, but since this is an event closer to you, we also decided to visit. Alright, I guess. As Naruto met with his friends, his mortal friends, Percy Jackson who had grown up and grown a beard of some sort, who was married Annabeth Chase, and the others as usual. He met also Jason, his half-brother, alongside with Talia Grace, who was now lieutenant at Hunters as well, because Zoe has retired fully. She was still a hunter, but she has retired from the lieutenant position. As now we see, Naruto then said, How have you been, Zoe? I mean, how have you been, Talia? And Jason? It's been good. So, how's dad? Yeah, he's fine. How's your mother? Jeez, I know that she hasn't been kind to you. Kind? We almost died, Naruto. And we have had this conversation a lot of times. I apologized, haven't I? Hm, you're lucky that you're our little brother. And we like you a lot. Yeah, sorry about that. You don't need to be sorry. As Naruto was zapped. Ow, that still hurts. I mean, I kind of want to ask Dad, why did he didn't give me any lightning cool abilities while well, you do get, got the abilities to fly and use lightning? Hmm, maybe because Chaos was having fun. Yeah, I guess you're right. So, are we gonna go in or what? And so now they arrived inside the camp where Chiron and the others who were still adults were waiting with their own children for their reunion. With all the legacies of the gods and goddesses, while the Olympians watched this with pure joy. As Naruto watched his wives, who were also talking and enjoying time with their children. And the hunters as well. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this movie off, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. And make sure you check out the Polo Chia short movie as well after this one if you haven't already. As this is it for the day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.